It means staying home. Please keep up your physical distance. And stay home as much as possible. The message? Well, it's for everyone's own good, if not a tad repetitive. But in Nova Scotia, just as people might have been lulled into complacency, came this little gem from Premier Stephen McNeil. When all we have to do is stay the blazes home. It sounded kind of cross, but look at what is normally Halifax's busiest downtown street. Hardly a soul. That scolding might just be getting through to people. What did the Premier say to do? Stay the blazes home! Stay the blazes home. And then, amid all this isolation, you guessed it. Stay the blazes home, stay the blazes home. Think about the common good, stay the blazes home. The songwriters took over. In this case, the Stanfield. If you got the inkling, you want to go to town. Remember there's a nasty bug going around. And they weren't the only ones. Merchandise started popping up, t-shirts and the like, with profits going to the food bank. Stevie boy, stay the blazes home. But more than just a lark, as this pandemic grinds on and the messaging becomes more critical, this kind of thing can actually be good. You got to find a way to break through that 20 to 30,000 messages of clutter we get each day. Business professor Ed McHugh told us, from his home of course, that the Premier was able to punch through. I watched and I immediately went, he's got it. I said, that, that was it. it. It clicked for me and it clicked for a lot of people. You got to find something that stands out. And it's even what works best is slightly tongue in cheek. That, that works better than the straight scientific information that we get, you know, right now, every single day. If you got the hanger in to go and get your fix, to party with your buddies and drink a beer or six. Now, in Nova Scotia, there are no kitchen parties allowed at this time, social distancing and all. But there's a beer, further evidence that this catchphrase is really catching on. It's okay to find the humor in these words. After all, we could all use a bit of humor now. But it's very important that people understand and heed the message behind the words. A potentially effective message that may help ward off the virus and a little creativity deal with that cabin fever. Tom Murphy, CBC News, Halifax.